The technique of bonded concrete overlay represents a relatively recent innovation in highway pavement rehabilitation. Iowa first utilized bonded concrete overlays on pavements in Greene County during 1973. Encouraged by the results, four more bonded concrete overlay projects were instituted in the consecutive years 1976 through 1979. In 1981, Louisiana did a eight-tenths of a mile overlay. That same year, New York executed a three-mile bonded overlay project. Texas got into the game in 1983 when the Center for Transportation Research at the University of Texas at Austin, backed by the Texas State Department of Highways and Public Transportation and the Federal Highway Administration, conducted an experiment in Houston, Texas, one of the most heavily trafficked cities in the United States. A 1,000-foot experimental section of bonded concrete overlay was constructed on the eastbound lanes of IH-610, running between Cullen Boulevard and Calais Street on the south end of the loop. The overlay was installed during the summer under less than ideal conditions, and one of the severest winters the area had experienced in recent years followed. Nevertheless, condition surveys conducted that spring revealed the overlay to be in near-perfect condition. Inspired by this performance, and using techniques perfected on the experimental section, the Texas State Highway Department began construction of a four-inch bonded concrete overlay along the north end of Loop 610 from IH-45 to T.C. Jester Boulevard in the fall of 1985. The procedure for a bonded concrete overlay basically involves a four-step process. First, the existing damaged pavement is repaired. Next, the repaired pavement is cleaned and roughened. In Houston, a shot blasting machine was used to clean and texture the surface. Cleaning and texturing enables the overlay to readily adhere to the older pavement. A welded wire fabric mat is then placed directly on the roughened pavement surface. Air blasting cleans the surface before grout is pumped beneath the steel. Following that comes the final stage, placing the concrete overlay. Bonded concrete overlays offer a number of benefits. On worn, smooth pavement, drivers are likely to experience hydroplaning during bad weather. While on the bonded concrete overlay, the groove surface greatly reduces the incidence of dangerous wet weather skidding. Bonded concrete overlays also help restore the riding quality of older roads, eliminating unsatisfactory, bumpy patchwork. Bonded concrete overlays enable highway engineers to take advantage of the remaining structural capacity and fatigue life of the existing pavement. In fact, rather than simply covering damaged road surface, the bonded concrete overlay works with the existing pavement in a manner that results in decreased deflection. To illustrate this point, in case A, the layers of a beam are not bonded together and as a load of 200 pounds is applied, a deflection of over one inch occurs. In case B, when those same layers are bonded, a deflection of less than one half of an inch results with a load four times greater than in case A. This textbook example demonstrates how a bonded overlay can work with the existing pavement to reduce deflections. Finally, the bonded concrete overlay allows highway engineers to compensate for under design. In cities which experience phenomenal and unprecedented growth, pavements must carry unexpected increases in traffic volume. The use of bonded concrete overlays enables engineers to compensate for unexpected increases in traffic or load. Although there has not yet been sufficient field experience, it's anticipated that a bonded concrete overlay may be able to increase the life of an old pavement 25 years. But when considering whether or not to use the bonded overlay process, the remaining life of the existing pavement must be taken into account. When preparing the pavement surface for receiving the bonded concrete overlay, three varieties of repairs will probably be necessary. If total failure has been experienced, a full depth repair should be made. Partial depth repairs can be made as part of the overlay placement. 
Open cracks can be repaired using a polymer concrete. Cracks may be cut at the surface with a milling machine to allow for easier access of the polymer concrete. A satisfactory bond between the overlay and the old surface requires that the existing surface be correctly prepared. Shot blasting cleans the surface and gives it the rough texture needed for proper bonding with the overlay. Shot blasting equipment both cleans and abrades the old concrete by bombarding the surface with steel abrasive pellets. Sealed magnetically and mechanically, the equipment collects the dust it produces, separating it from the reusable abrasive media. A relatively new process, shot blasting gives the pavement surface a different texture and provides an economical alternative to the traditional scarification by milling machines. After shot blasting, the surface must be kept as clean as possible to ensure maximum bonding. The shot blasted surface must be protected from oil, and grease, and dirt, which will contaminate the clean surface. Laying the steel reinforcement directly on the existing pavement saves time and money. Steel can be placed the day before placing the overlay. Air blasting gives the surface its final cleaning and is done before grouting. The pros and cons of grouting are still being investigated. Under conditions of a wet pavement surface, grouting may be imperative. However, for the Loop 610 overlay, the engineers applied grouting at this stage throughout the project. Grout is pumped onto the surface beneath the steel. This is done immediately prior to placing the overlay, as it is critical that the grout not be allowed to dry before placing the concrete overlay. The bonded concrete overlay process can use two slip form pavers. On the Houston project, the first paver placed slightly over four inches of concrete, while the second machine trimmed this to the desired four inches. Using two pavers enables you to achieve a more precise thickness as well as a better riding surface. Two machines reduce the imperfections in the surface. In Houston, the overlay placement was finished by using both machine and hand tining. A curing compound is applied to the surface and the new overlay is then allowed to cure for several days. A vital consideration on any highway construction project is traffic handling. Proper handling of traffic keeps workers safe and minimizes drivers' inconveniences. Movable concrete barriers protect construction workers and reroute drivers off the pavement surface that's being prepared for the overlay. On the Loop 610 project, two lanes were closed at a time. By using narrower lanes instead of the standard size lanes and by utilizing the asphalt shoulder it was possible to maintain three open lanes. Leaving entrance ramps open until the day of concrete placement helps to minimize inconveniences for drivers. This strategy usually requires preparing the existing pavement surface and placing the bonded overlay in a single day. In addition, entrance and exit ramps are usually open before lanes. This helps to reduce drivers' inconveniences while allowing the lanes to cure for a longer period to avoid subjecting the new concrete to unnecessary stresses. The preceding strategies for traffic handling were used at the Loop 610 project. 610 carries a very heavy traffic load. Four lanes each direction with around 150,000 vehicles per day. Thus the methods for traffic handling depicted here are not required for all bonded concrete overlay projects. An examination of a core sample from Loop 610 shows how difficult it is to distinguish between the old and new concrete layers. The cores are tested for shear strength at the interface and for this sample of 24 cores taken from Loop 610, results show a shear strength of well over 200 PSI. This graph illustrates the range of deflection reduction obtained by five sections on IH610 after overlaying. Note that overlaying reduced deflection from around 30 
to 50 percent. Contrasting the serviceability before and after overlaying on Loop 610 demonstrates dramatic increases in the writing quality of the surface after overlaying. Finally, we see here, as the thickness of the bonded overlay is increased, the projected life of the pavement increases. To recap, we've seen that the relatively new approach of bonded concrete overlay construction offers numerous valuable benefits. Restoration of skid resistance. Restoration of riding quality. Utilization of the structural capacity of existing pavement. And correction of under design. Ideally, this videotape has answered some of your questions concerning bonded concrete overlays and perhaps piqued your interest in pursuing bonded concrete overlay as a pavement rehabilitation option.